Have you ever wondered how people make those animations on YouTube where the sound reacts to their logo or something similar? Particles are flying around and the actual logo is reacting to the music. This can be done with the audio spectrum effect. Let me add in an example song I've downloaded. This song is very bass heavy, but it will be okay for an explanation. Now let's select an image. I select the bridge image and I create quickly a new HD composition. I create the composition, I place the image inside and let's make a few adjustments. First, I want to transform and fit the image to the composition. Then I want the song to be dragged into the composition. Now I have here only 10 seconds. The song is of course longer, but for the sake of this tutorial, this should be enough. You can see this is a very simple song. Let me preview it for a few seconds. Nothing too fancy, but it will be okay to explain a few things. So I'll create a new solid just to make an overlay color here. I will select of course another color because this is unacceptable. Maybe something T like that. All right. And I lower down its opacity by pressing T and bringing down the opacity. I could also play around with the effects like the color correction and play with the effects, but, but I will not do this at this point. I will create another solid for our actual audio spectrum. Control Y once again, create another solid no matter what color will be selected. And by having this solid selected, I go to effect, generate and generate audio spectrum. Now the audio spectrum is already generated and I only have to select the music which will be linked to this effect. To do this, go to audio layer and select the layer where you have your audio. I have the example techno song and you see something start to appear. As I told you, this song is very bass heavy, so it has only lower tones, so I will need to adjust the start and end frequency. You see the audio is already reacting to the song, but since it's a very bass heavy song, only the lower sounds play, nothing else. So I should adjust the start and end frequency. Depending on what effect you want to achieve, if you would like the audio only to bump on a bass, you should set the frequencies low, if you also want to hit the mid tones and higher tones, you should make the frequency about 3000 or something like that. I have a very low frequency, so I'll start with zero and end with a range of 500. Oh, it's actually set to one, I'm sorry. And now I could preview what I have achieved. After my preview loads a bit, I can see the audio starts to react. I would like, however, it to run in the circle because my logo is a circle, let's assume that. This would be also no problem, I could select the rectangle tool and create a mask inside of this shape. I will create a mask in the middle, then I only have to go to the pad and select the mask number one as my audio spectrum. You see it is limited because the mask is very small now and if I would for example up the thickness a bit, extend the maximum height of the actual music, it would be constrained by the size of the mask. This is easy to adjust, just open the mask and use the mask expansion to make it bigger. Right now it would be okay and the music starts playing. You can play around with the colors, do overall adjustments and start to make it a bit more interesting. You can explore these options to know more about it. Something important is if you want to select site A to play it from inside, site B to play from outside or both sides if you want this effect. I'll for example select only the inside. Now how could I upgrade this a bit? You can always duplicate this layer. For example just hit Ctrl D, make this layer bigger and you have now two audio spectrums. This is how they achieve the several colors. These are several audio spectrums and each one of them probably has a bit different frequencies and some other options. You can apply a glow effect, you can start to play around with the effects, you can change its colors, you can add the blending modes for example to add, I'll adjust the color a bit to a more bluish one and we are getting a more interesting effect as previously. The background itself is very boring so let me hit a new solid. I will create a quick vignette by creating a new black solid, double clicking on a circle so the mask will be automatically applied, then I will hit inverted open up the mask and feather it heavily. This is a simple effect you can remember to create vignettes. Now the audio starts to look a bit better, I would still need to copy this several times, play with the options, put my logo in the middle, 
I could also add some particles in the background because as you see some particles are flying around here. This can be also achieved in After Effects. You have two effects for this. Let me create a new solid layer. Depending on what color I select probably the particles will be of this color. So let me select a red solid. I have the red solid on the top here. I'll go to Effects, Simulation and I can either use Particle System or Particle World. These are both similar plugins. Let me select the Particle World and right now it looks very boring. So at first I would like to intensify it by selecting a birth rate of 3 and 1 second of life for the particles is ok. Now I'll go to the physics because I don't want them to drop to the bottom. I will reduce the gravity to 0. Then I'll increase the outgoing velocity and the lines will pop very very quickly. Actually the lines itself look very cheesy but you can adjust this in the particle options. As I open the particle I have several options here for example changing it to star. I know for a fact that the motion polygon looks really interesting or for example the darkened and faded sphere is also very interesting regarding this animation. Now it doesn't have the right colors and it doesn't blend right so at first I should place it behind the animation. Now it blends a little bit better but I should also adjust the blending modes. By adjusting the blending modes I can find something which will look interesting. For example the multiply, well it isn't perfect, I still should play around with it or maybe something blue darkish like that and the particles would pop out and start playing. Of course they should be less visible and overall more adjusted because right now this doesn't look but it all depends what do you need and how long do you spend on editing it. Once you get a good idea you can start copying the effects and making something better. Now this doesn't look good at all, I'll select side B. It is also important which song do you select and how do you play with the layers. So this is how people on YouTube make those animations playing to their songs.